According to the CDC, the latest data confirms that the number of patients infected by resistant bacteria is increasing and that antibiotic resistance is a major threat to public health. Prudent use of antibiotics can help stop resistant bacteria from developing and help keep antibiotics effective for the use of future generations. So, Microbiology Department raise awareness in maternity and children hospital about the threat to public health of antibiotic resistance and prudent antibiotic use. Welcome to Antibiotic Awareness Day 2014, together to stop the resistance. As Dr. Huda said, bacteria will share genes with each other in different ways. One of these is through picking genes up from their surroundings, and they usually do this after one of their neighbors has died. This technique is known as transformation, in which bacterium number one, which is resistant to tetracycline, dies and releases its genes into the surroundings. Then, bacterium number two, which is resistant to penicillin only, will pick up some of these genes and pull them in. Now, bacterium number two can do something that previously only bacterium number one could do. This bacterium has become resistant to penicillin and tetracycline. Another way that bacteria have to share genes is through specific viruses called bacteriophage. We're going to call this technique transduction. A bacteriophage will infect bacterium number one and pick up some of its genes and then inject these genes into bacterium number two. Now, bacterium number two can do something that previously only bacterium number one could do. Now, imagine that bacterium number two is now resistant to methicillin. The third way that bacteria shares genes is through mating of two bacterial cells, so we're going to refer to this technique as conjugation. So, bacterium number one, the donor, fills a bridge to bacterium number two, the recipient, through which genes are passed.